the two ring triple chance tag battle royal uh, a couple of the guys that were interested in it Bill Dundee and Robert Fuller got together to talk about it they had an interesting conversation about what I think is one of the most fascinating styles of wrestling matches there is the double ring triple chance battle royal let's listen to Bill and Robert last week we spoke a little bit about the battle royal and I felt that we would take this opportunity I have Robert Fuller here and Bill Dundee uh, to discuss the Battle Royal. Um, Robert is fortunate enough that uh, he was the winner of the world's biggest, uh, most uh, prestigious Battle Royal to this date. He won the $15,000 Battle Royal in the Omni in Atlanta. Uh, Bill has, is a veteran of four or five, I think, Battle Royals. And I wanted to take an opportunity here to, to talk about it and, and explain it to the fans. It's a, it's a big event. We're trying to put one together. And Robert, to start off with, if, I'll, if I could get you just to tell the people more or less how it works. Yeah, it's uh, actually it's a pretty simple procedure. You have two rings, and that's where you get the two ring triple chance battle royal. But if you can visualize two rings here at the end of my hands, a ring one here and a ring two, you'll visualize how the chances take place. Uh, the first chance of the first chance, last two men left in ring one, and the last two men left in ring two initiate the third chance. That means that they'll have a tag match, as you well know, and uh, and the winners of that tag match will then split. Uh, the profits of whatever's involved in the thing and I understand that in the battle royals that are upcoming they're going to be quite awesome yeah well to to make it a little bit interesting we're trying to trying to put it all together and have a ten or twenty thousand dollar prize which um, if we can go for the twenty thousand it would make us the, the biggest battle royal in the world that we've ever had but one y'all were having a little conversation before Mike got here with the camera and I thought it was real interesting Bill uh, if you kind of go over that conversation Robert has a different view on the strategy of a battle royal and he was successful in Atlanta and the Omni and and from the from the way y'all are talking and have things laid out I think you'll be successful again would you would you explain the, Robert's uh, strategy as to how it relates to you two. Well, what he told me, Jerry, was <clears throat> he said most guys, and I was guilty of this too, go into the battle royal just fending for themselves. He said, Bill, in this kind of thing, there's got to be two guys going in there thinking as one. He said, now we're going to try and be the champions, the tag team champions for the belts, right? And I said, yeah. He said, so if we go in there and we be a team, Robert Puller and Bill Dundee thinking as one guy, we could stand a better chance. It's a lot easier two guys taking one guy and dumping him over the top rope as it is trying to get one guy to dump one guy over. So he said, if we stick together as a team, he said, I believe we can win this thing. So that's what we're going to do, believe me. So in other words, Robert, to start out with, while it's a triple chance and there's uh, 15, 20, 30 men in the ring, you and, and Bill, I presume, are going to start out as a team. That's right. If anybody, or my thinking on the thing, anybody that figures they're going to go in a triple chance battle royal with two rings and win that thing by themselves, they're wrong right off the bat. You've got to have a partner. You're going to wind up with a partner, and that partner better be compatible with what you're thinking. I think that's been Bill's problem, that he's wound up with a few partners like Valiant or this guy or that guy that wasn't thinking just like him, and it, it was quite impossible to go in there and get their heads together against two guys who are really serious about winning 10 or 15 or even like you said possibly twenty thousand dollars it's something where bill and i were going to have to go in just stand back to back if one of us loses and gets thrown over into that second ring it's a good chance you'll see the other one just jump right over the rope and go in with him because uh, we got to stay together if we wind up with a partner that we're non compatible with then it's going to be more or less impossible to win an event like this the twenty thousand dollars like you said gives you the edge because guys would be quick to say well you know ten ten grand i'll do most anything so there you might wind up with some partners who will be compatible when they normally wouldn't but it's that's what makes it exciting really but bill and i we plan to cut down on the excitement by going all the way through this thing staying in ring one if possible are both of us winding up in ring two making the team that's going to win the thing jerry all right let, let me ask you this because i know in in your particular situation uh professor tanaka has been a thorn in your side um the first thing he did was he he cost you the southern tag championships you won them and because of him uh, not wanting to be your partner, you had to forfeit those belts. The other thing, of course, he, um, 
he is the Southern champion by default in that your brother had some personal problems, couldn't show up for the title match, and, mm -hmm. and he was handed that, that Southern heavyweight championship. So the reason I'm making this point, I know that Tanaka is not one of the uh, ten most likable men that, that you have on your <laughs> list. Not on my list, no. Now, let's just assume that, that the, you know, the, the best laid plans of mice and men are often don't work out. Let's just, I know that you and Bill are going to try, but let's assume that something were to happen to Bill and you got eliminated from ring two also. And you were left and, and Tanaka uh, was left in ring two. And there were two other men in ring one. Now the price is 20. A lot of money by anybody's standards. What do you do in that kind of situation? Well, I, I try to please number one in that situation. And what's going to please me most is I'm out. I wouldn't enter in this event unless I thought I had an opportunity to win one half of that money, $10,000 you're talking about. And, and uh, I'd take Tanaka as a partner and I'd try to win the thing. As far as trying to team up with Tanaka and win another title, we can forget it. But as far as getting in this tournament and expecting to win this thing, I hope to go through it with Bill, and I know Bill hopes to go through it with me. But either way, one of us guys hopes to come out with that money, and we're going to try to do it. All right, Bill, let me ask you the same, the same question, because to me, this is the interesting aspect of the of the triple chance battle royal. Anything can take place. Any combinations uh, can take place. If if one of your uh, arch enemies, we have we you know in the wrestling business we wrestle opponents and and sometimes we we don't aren't particularly fond of them, but we don't really hate them. In a situation that really one of your arch enemies ended up as your partner, would you go ahead for that one match? And, and wrestle with him for the twenty thousand, ten thousand dollars. Well, Jerry, anybody had said that they wouldn't, I think, they'd be lying to you because this is why we're going to the wrestling profession in the first place was to make money. And this, if I, if Robert and I both get through, it'll be my biggest payday in any any one given night. Ten thousand dollars. That's half a twenty, right? So if it was the Stomper, if it was anybody at all, gorgeous George, yeah, I would sign the contract for one night. I wouldn't want to go further in one night, but I would be trying that night for sure. Yeah. That's what makes it the greatest event in all the world. Yeah, it sure is, and, and I'm looking forward to it. And I, you know, I know it would be a big event to sit down and plan something in your mind and, and go through and have it all work out and, and then win it. it. It would be mighty gratifying as well as a nice payday. So I hope it works out for you. I hope that the fans better understand what a triple chance battle royal is, and, and I know looking forward to the big event. Absolutely.